Now, it's that time of year that if you haven't already booked a trip abroad, you're busy searching for the best and cheapest flights, but have you been caught out by unexpected airline charges? Well, uh, in this week's Alice Beer Investigates, mm. uh, Alice is going, we feel there should be, some, <laughs> should be something over the top of that, should Yeah. yeah at least <laughs> da, the voiceover. Da, da. Alice I'll is going to show us how to avoid getting stung uh, when we travel this summer. And um, we'll start, first of all, by, um, by explaining you know, how we do get stung. Well, we, could, we get stung by sudden charges last minute at the airport, things that take us by surprise, because we think, fantastic, we've booked these really cheap flights, and budget flights are stripped down fares, and suddenly you think, oh, no, luggage, oh, no, this, this, this. It all adds up. Well, there's so a lawsuit, isn't there? Ryanair could face, allegedly, £315 million in a lawsuit from angry passengers over so-called hidden charges, the £160 chain change to the name on a ticket. Uh, this is an yes. online campaign by Case Hub. Yep. Uh, they're going to focus on the £100 to £160 fee that ch changes names on tickets, £10 to £70 fee for airport check-in, £15 to £70 fee for reprinting boarding passes. So this is, you know, sort of legally going quite far. Ryanair yep. said, we don't come on nonsense. Absolutely. So that's how seriously they're, they're dismissing it. this completely. Case Hub actually needs, it's an online sort of group action, class action. They need 75,000 people to make it work. They've got 5,000 signed up to it so far. They'll take 35% of anything they make for you. So I really don't actually genuinely think this is going to go very far. And this is a retrospective thing because Ryanair have changed their fees. They're on a charm offensive now. They're the let's be nice to well, our customers. Always they're getting like, better campaign. Though, always honey. getting better. So if retrospectively, if, if in the past you've paid that fee, £160, mm. for a reprint to change the name on your ticket and you want to claim that back, uh, for example, then you can join up in the, this class action. But Ryanair charges. dismissing it out of hand. Well, Leanne maybe. says, I got charged £170 for adding a middle name to my booking. Yes, I'm not sure why she would do that. And um, even if a middle name is on your passport... You don't necessarily I, have to I have I don't have think you need that. The thing is that it's, this is nothing new. It's nothing that we haven't... Parts of this that we haven't discussed before. No, absolutely. So you could legitimately say, well, you know, you know about these things. And you should make yourself aware. I mean, the charges that suddenly come up uh, to take you by surprise are um, paying to book a seat. Suddenly we think, oh, why are we having to book a seat? We've got to do that, suddenly last minute. Uh, paying for your extra luggage at check-in. Um, paying a fee at check-in uh, when you get to the airport because you haven't checked in online. Paying to reprint your boarding pass because you've forgotten it, left it at home, haven't got a printer. haven't done it, or your printer, so there's no ink at the, in the printer at the last minute. Or paying to correct a spelling mistake. They're those last minute charges that are taking you by surprise. So they make the, if they make the spelling mistake, you still have to pay. No, if they've made the spelling mistake. But what I always say is there's no excuse for not spotting any of these things in advance. You shouldn't be doing any of these things on the morning that you're leaving for the airport. You shouldn't be spotting a spelling mistake at the last minute. If you sort all these things out way in advance, you won't have to pay these surprise charges. They won't take you by surprise.